So we got a glimpse into the future last night. 60 Minutes did a piece on the Boston Dynamics robot. They're already working in Hyundai factories building cars. Take a look at this. Getting ready for work. Meet Atlas, a 5'9", 200-pound, AI-powered humanoid created by Boston Dynamics. The rise of the robots is science fiction no more. I have to say, every time I see it, you just can't believe what my eyes are seeing. Is this the first time Atlas has been out of the lab? This is the first time Atlas has been out of the lab doing real work. Zach Joukowsky heads Atlas Development. He has two mechanical engineering degrees from MIT and a mission to turn the robot into a productive worker on the factory floor. We watched as Atlas practiced sorting roof racks for the assembly line without human help. I mean, that's pretty crazy. What are your thoughts? Well, look, I think that this is where we're obviously going, right? The fact that you can take what is really rote human behavior. It is simply taking in information, synthesizing it, and then taking action in the real world. We have computers and we now have robotics. And if you can put those two things together, you're going to be able to replace a lot of things that humans do. Now, of course, if it's something simple as pick up a box here, move it over here, that's something that a child can understand, an adult can do, and eventually a robot can understand and do. So that's easy stuff. What I'm more interested in is where is the complex manufacturing going, right? If you look at, let's say, a Tesla factory, you already see lots of robotics. They may not be humanoid robots, but you see lots of robotics helping to build the vehicle. What I think is very interesting, and as I've talked to a lot of the humanoid company CEOs, one of the things they always talk about is like the world is built for the form factor of a human. We have two arms, two legs, our face, our eyes, the way we think, see, talk, et cetera. That's how the world is built. Well, if you can get robotics into that form factor of a humanoid, now all of a sudden you have to change the world a lot. You can simply use that robot in the world that already exists. And I think that's what these factors are trying to figure out is how do you transition from having not a lot of robotics to having robots? Well, a great way to do that is why don't we put the robots in that humanoid form factor and go and do it? Now, the other thing that I think is really interesting about this is this is a huge deflationary force. This is going to help continue to bring inflation down. You are essentially putting in labor, but you're not doing it with humans. And so the cost will be lower over time, but also you will become more productive as a company. Hyundai, by doing this, will be able to increase revenue and ultimately profit, but do it with lower costs, which go ahead and actually impacts profit. So as you see people going through all this stuff, my first thing is Hyundai understands where the world is going. Hyundai is trying to drive more profit. And ultimately, there are going to be knock-on effects of this. There's going to be a lot of creation of jobs in the companies that are making these humanoid robots. It's probably the largest addressable market in the world. But at the same time, there's going to be people who lose their jobs. What do we do with them? How do we retrain them? How do we get them back in the workforce? We need to understand both sides of this. There is creative destruction at play. We are creating new companies, new profits, new opportunities, and new jobs, but we are also destroying old companies, old profits, and old jobs. And that is ultimately why there's so much controversy around this. I think that this is obviously the future. I think Boston Dynamics has been ahead of this for a long time. Hyundai is smart to be doing this, but ultimately what I see happening here, producing more, costing less, more profits, the economic incentive is going to get every single company in the world to want to participate. Humanoid robots, artificial intelligence, this is coming and we need to figure out how to address it.